Hello and welcome to the GBC Productions channel. This is episode 126. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the video tape recorder portion of the camera. This is a Sony model BVV5. Now this doesn't have the original carry handle on it, but I did manage to get this one to work with it. So let's take a look at the controls here. There is a little speaker here so you can listen to what's going on. There's a volume knob below it. And there's more controls under this panel. This has Dolby C noise reduction. Here's where the tape door is, and there is a tape in there. The model plaque is hidden under the handle. Here's the four audio channels. There is a switch here for phantom power, 48 volts, and that's only for channel one. Now this connector here is for the playback adapter. We'll take a look at that in the next video. There's a connector for it, and there's a circuit breaker next to it. We're going to open the covers on this, take a look inside. We'll start on this side. This uses the same sort of captive screws that the camera body uses. And this just folds up. And there is quite a lot in here. There's a lot of adjustments around here. Everything's adjustable on this. And I'm missing a knob there. These are for the four audio channels. There is another board hidden under there that I'm not going to be able to get at. Things are just so tightly packed in here, I don't want to risk damaging it. Here's a couple of the motors. Let's get a better view here. So now let's take a look at the other side. Here are some various connectors down here. Time code and gen lock. Now the tape door is just held on with these two screws. They're also captive, just like the ones on the other side. And then there's this panel here. Under here we'll be able to see the video heads. Let's see if we can get a better look at the circuit board. Here's the video heads. I'm going to pause for a moment and get the tape out. I got the tape out. It looks very much like a Betamax tape. The right protect tab is in a different location. I would not advise using this in a Betamax machine. Because of the formulation of the tape, it'll wear out the video heads in a Betamax very quickly. Now 
Now we can see more of the mechanical portion of the videotape recorder. It looks just like any other videotape recorder of its era. Now let me see if I can get a video head visible. Try to zoom in a little bit here. And there's two of the video heads. There's two more. Now here's the battery mount that was on the back. I do have a battery, but it is long since gone. So now we've taken a look at the camera. In the next video, we'll look at the playback adapter. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.